How should you learn coding in 2025? Hi, my name is Miro and I've been doing software development for the past five years. I've had multiple jobs during this time. I've teached coding for other people. I've worked in small startups. I have found my own businesses and I have developed apps for multiple nine figure businesses. Learning the code is always relevant. Methods and devices evolve but the main idea of coding stays true. The world is more and more digitalized and you definitely want to be a part of that journey rather than to stand in the sidelines. But where does one actually start the learning process? I started my journey with the help of internet until I landed in university where I started studying more structured. Starting in a university really fast tracked my learning process. But applying and studying in a university might not be the right path for everybody. And there is actually multiple ways to start learning coding in 2025. There are so many ways to study that there will be a few that fit you and then a few that don't really fit you. That brings us to our first way to learn coding with Kodi Tech, who have been kind enough to sponsor this section of the video and being the first sponsor of the channel. Kodi is an interactive platform suited for people from all backgrounds. And what's, what's better? Kodi is actually free. Yes, it, it actually is. You can study daily with Kodi's free plan and proceed in your coding journey. Kodi is definitely inspired by the feel of Duolingo, but it doesn't yet have the scary owl. The best feature about Kodi, in my opinion, is the journeys and how intuitive and interactive the journeys are. And you can pick what journey you want to choose for yourself, what fits you the best. I went with Python since I feel like it's the most beneficial for me and I feel like I, I do have a lot to learn in Python. I find Kodi to be very interactive and platform I actually use and see the benefit in. And I wouldn't take just anything for a sponsorship, but I truly believe that Kodi can help you learn coding in 2025. A big shout out to Kodi Tech for being the first sponsor of the channel and I would have not partnered up with them unless I actually believed in their product. So thank you, Cody. The best tip I can give for people wanting to learn the code is uh, just start. You might be thinking like, uh, well, where do I start from? Create, create a simple Python application. Just create something, create, like a, create a button that does something. Start with the very basics and see how you actually feel about coding. Because you might, you might think you li like the idea of coding, but you never actually coded. So I would highly recommend just start with something small. I, I do need to mention that coding is not actually for everybody. Not, not each and every single one of us is supposed to become a coder. You need to keep educating yourself if you want to stay on top of your game. But coding, I believe coding to be somewhat of a future-proof future, future proof profession. I won't give my full opinion on AI and AI replacing coders in this video right now. But in short, AI is not replacing coders. AI is replacing the simple boilerplate code. So coders have a possibility to focus on more complex matters. That is why coders need to keep educating and need to keep, uh, stay on top of their game. I wouldn't stress that, mu that much right now about AI taking your job in the future, but now if you really want to learn coding, I would just start with something very small. So actually, just start coding. R write your first few lines of code and see how you feel about it. Creating an account on Kodi Tech is a very easy way to get started. The gap from wanting to learn to actually learning is very tiny in 2025 and there are so many easy opportunities for you to start learning. You just have to take the first step and see if this actually is for you. Because you need to remember that code, coding might not be for you and that's completely okay. You're, you'll find what is for you. But 
there is ups and downs in coding all the time. I hope you have enjoyed this video of my my ideas on how to how to start learning coding in 2025 and be sure to subscribe and actually comment down uh, below what do you think what do you think of these ideas what do you think of the method of actually just starting i will answer all the comments and thank you for watching and i hope to see you in another video thank you and take care